this can be. Okay, cool. So we're recording. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to do this and for the participation. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of things here real quick before I even have you click on anything yet. Um, so what we're doing is conducting a usability test of a website for a family tree nursery. Um, we already have the homepage up, so that's good. Um, this should take roughly 45 minutes or so. We're just gonna spend that time going over the website. Um, and one thing that I want you to remember as we go through this is that the website is what's being tested, not you. So there is no right or wrong. Um, my goal is to gather your thoughts as you move through the site. If you have any hangups or frustrations, I wanna observe how you move past those. Likewise, if there's things that that you like about the website, I'll want to know those as well. Um, in order to help you move through the site, I'm going to give you a couple of different scenarios that might be typical of a customer of Family Tree Nursery. Um, but when it comes down to it, I'm most interested in your thoughts. So as you're going through it, I want you to literally think out loud. Um, like if you have, if something is frustrating you or you're confused about something or you can't find something, like just think out loud, like what you're looking for, those types of things. And I, on the flip, if there's anything that you like or works that maybe you didn't think would, for example, you can sh share things like that. Um, and I can ask some questions to help facilitate if, if I need to as well. Um, it might feel a little bit weird at first, <laughs> but we'll get used to it. Um, this is just gonna help me understand what's going through your mind as you're using the website. So again, no right or wrong. I'm just looking for your genuine first impressions. Um, before I have you do anything, I'm going to ask um, just a few questions as a pretest, just to determine like previous experience and baseline knowledge, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to ask you, you know, I didn't send you anything. I'm just going to ask you the questions. And I'm just going to type them down real quick. Let me get you a different color here real quick. Make it blue. OK, so number one, have you ever visited Family Tree Nursery or their website? No. What type of device is your go-to just when browsing the internet? Like tablet, smartphone, computer? Laptop and phone, probably equally. Okay. Okay, number three, um, this can be a guesstimate. How much time would you say you spend on the internet every day? And you can even say like, very little, a moderate amount, or like a lot, or if you think you have a number in your head. <laughs> work? Yeah, just in general, like work and personal use. Then probably nine to 12 hours a day. Okay. <laughs> Don't like to think about how much time it is when you actually add it up. Um, okay, so given that then, would you call yourself a newbie, an amateur, or, or a pro at navigating the internet and or computer issues in general? Pro. Okay. Okay, and then before we get started, do you have any questions? No. Comments? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have two main scenarios. There's kind of like a half one that we'll start with. Um, just for the first thing that I wanna have you do, you can just look through this, um, the web page. You don't have to necessarily click on anything, but just right off the bat, what, what draws your eye? Like what is the first thing that you do want to click on or explore? So the vibrant colors um, catches my attention right away. Okay. Um, Their search bar is easy to find. And I suppose I'd be drawn to departments soon um, first because then I would figure out what I'm looking for, where, how I would find that. Okay. Awesome, okay. Uh, okay, so or if you wanna take a couple more minutes, otherwise we can move on to the first scenario. It's okay, go ahead. Okay. So scenario number one is you want to add more color variety to your flower beds, but aren't sure yet what you would like to plant. You already have a lot of bright colored flowers, so adding some darkness will help balance out your landscape. You're hoping that Family Tree Nursery has a list of their flowers that you can compare. How might you go about looking for such a tool? 
I would probably go to departments and so I want in my are these like perennial flower beds or ones I think out every year whatever however you want to interpret that is completely up to you well, good way to change out color and test what I like would probably be to go to annuals so I would go there okay I didn't really find much. I'm wondering if they have any events that would help me like get some ideas. I could sign up for their newsletter, but I hate junk email. Here's a plant finder. That's kind of cool. What is it that you're looking for right now? Issues. Or we have a connection issues? Well, oh no, my aunt might be having issues. Oh. But I think it's okay now. Um, this is kind of cool. How can what is it that you like about this page? That there, it, it's broken down in small categories like perennial ferns, ornamental, ornamental glass, grasses. Um, they have lots of categories. So instead of just having like a couple categories and trying to figure out what I want, Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that I wanted to do some annual flowers in my garden. Okay. But I'm now not finding annuals. If you're going just off of color, like looking for colors that might be darker, how would you, how would you search for that? Well, they do. Well, they have this here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So reset your search and search. That wasn't, I was thinking the reset was reset what on here. So that kind of me there. But I see it's reset what they're looking for. I'm sorry, you kind of cut out. What, what did you think the colors? reset? Sorry, I think we're having some connection. Sorry, hold on. Can you hear me okay? I thought this was like, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I think we were lagging there for a second. So can you hear me so, now? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think that the reset button I, was for? I keep I keep clicking things and then hitting reset, thinking it would reset what was down here, but now I see search. So intuitively, I wanted to click what was on the left first. Okay. Whereas I think if I want to re if I want to reset the filter, which is what I thought that was, um, the search button should be not on the right i just your mind goes left to right so i see now so i'm going to add like some just some darker colors and then i'll search and see what it those are pretty oh i like those Ruby heart hens and chicks. Oh, how cute. Okay. So now I don't know how to go back. See, to me, this is where that reset button should be. At the top? Or just like I, it showed me my search, but now how do I go back? What What is, when you say back, what is it that you're trying to go back to? Like a different search. Okay, so you so you're saying that you don't like that the filters went away when you went to a different page. Yeah, correct. Okay. And it did that is where the reset button should be. Because it doesn't really do me any good to have the reset on this page when I don't need it on this page. I need it when I 
filtered stuff out. And I had forgotten to put annuals. Ferns are pretty. So I'll assume my flower bed is part shade, then I'll search. Okay, so then, so I took a couple searches. Oh, wow, those are pretty. But I searched for annual and then perennials are coming up. That's artist blue floss flower, it's annual. Oh, we might have to visit this place. <laughs> okay, all right. So now that, that's how I got some ideas. Okay. Do you have any, is there anything that you like about this particular function? Yeah, it gives a lot of details, tells you okay. how big it gets, how it spreads, sunlight. Yeah, it gives a lot of details about each one. I like that. So like I've clicked my, oh, wish list. Okay, so then I, I go back. But then it like how to get to my wish list isn't real obvious. Okay. Hmm. I checked them, but I have no idea what happened to them. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, if I was looking at this for real, that would have really frustrated me. Okay. It's like to compare to like Amazon, if I put something on a wish list, then I have like my account and I can I can choose my list and then show that see the things that I have marked. I have no idea that's how to catch what I marked as my wish list. Okay. So should I do more for that exercise? Nope, nope, that was good. I'm just taking some extra notes. Um, unless, I mean, unless you want to go back to it and mess with it more, um, I'm, I'm pretty good if you'd like to move on to the next scenario. Okay. Okay. So last scenario is your significant other loves to go to the cafe, to Cafe Equinox inside of the Shawnee location. You want to surprise them with a gift card for their birthday um, next week, how would you go about buying a gift card online? And you don't actually have to buy anything. You just, I just want you to be able to figure out how to buy a gift card. Okay. So what is it that you're looking for right now? Like, what is your brain wanting to find? I was trying to decide if I was looking for the cafe or looking for Shawnee first. Okay. Now, assuming that the cafe might be at each location, I'm okay. going to go there first. Okay. Um, this, I assume, is a menu. Order online. I don't see anything that is. Just scrolling the homepage on there to see if there's anything about a gift card. Mm -hmm. Seeing anything. So then I would like, I'm gonna try order online. Okay. I'm guessing that's not gonna get me a gift card. Oh, here what? we go, gift card. Um, so when you were back, back where, when you clicked on order online, what, what do you normally associate with that kind of a button? Like, what did you think you would get to when clicking order online? Like a menu for curbside okay. pickup or order ahead so it's ready when I get there. So you were hesitant hesitant to look for a gift card because you were assuming it was going to be just yeah. coffee options? It's just that. Okay. But when, I, but when I didn't see anything else, I thought it was a reasonable place to look. Okay. 
yeah, this pick up as soon as possible. This is this is what I was expecting. And then I, I wasn't sure. I thought it'd be 50-50 that the gift card option would be here. Okay. Do you think the process of getting from their homepage to actually the page where you can order that gift card, did you find that process frustrating? Do you think it was like just okay or maybe it was easy to you? Um, it was pretty good. It only took me, was it two or three clicks to get there? So I thought that was pretty good. I went to the cafe, then I went to order online and then I went to gift cards. So three clicks. So I thought it was pretty, it was pretty good. I wasn't real confident. Like I wasn't sure, but it ended up being correct. And so it was great. Okay. Okay. How would you, how, um, I'll actually, I'll have you go back to the homepage. How would you just go back to the homepage uh, of, of family tree nursery? Yeah. So I'm looking up here and like when I went to get the gift card, it opened in a new tab, but this mm -hmm. did not. And I'm not, I see a home, so I'm going to try it. Um, that didn't work. So it took me off of the nursery page and I just going to try back arrow. Yep. Okay. You use the back arrow? I did. Yep. Okay. Um, it would have been handier just to have a coffee home and a garden center home, but okay. it's not a huge deal I got there. So you'd rather have them be connected rather than it taking you to a separate Yeah, PJ or when it okay. opened the coffee, it was auto set to open a new tab. Okay. So when I click here, I wish it would have ordered, opened a new tab. That would have been better, but it still was reasonable. Okay. So, perfect. And that was the last scenario. Do you have any, like oh, with the website overall, what would you say were your favorite things and the most frustrating thing? Um, probably my favorite thing was, I mean, it's just real colorful. And when there are descriptions on stuff, they're really clear and a lot of detail. They clearly have a lot of product. Um, and they show that, um, I think just because there's so much, it was difficult to narrow it down a little bit. That filtering wasn't quite there. And this is really small, but I obviously have a lot of work tabs open and stuff. And I feel like about a fourth of the space at the top is wasted. It's like all the context is down on the bottom half of the page everywhere I go. Okay. And so just, I'm constantly wanting to pull it up, pull it up. So there's that great big white bar at the top that just wastes a lot of uh, real estate on the page. So you find the scrolling starting to become irritating after a while. Yeah. Okay. Just visually. Yeah. Okay. But that, that's not strong. That's being really nitpicky. Yeah. No, that's great actually. Awesome. You went through it a lot faster. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's about it. Do you have any other comments or anything else that you would like to add after going through it? If after visiting the website, do you think, has it made you want to go visit the place in person? Do you just feel kind of neutral about it or has it deterred you away from being a customer? 
actually, I was just getting ready to say, I want, I feel like going and visiting that place. Awesome. Like I just looked at flowers at Lowe's and I was like, oh wow, this is like a hundred times better. I totally want to go to this nursery. Awesome. When, when you said you looked at flowers at Lowe's, was that in person or was that on their website too? That was in person. Okay. So it's not a total apples to apples comparison. Well, I, that is about it. I'm going to go ahead and I'll stop the recording.